week. I'm so excited. Okay, so it comes with like this highlight shade, bronzer, contouring, and then blushes. And oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And can we talk about this mirror? Look, you see yourself. Sorry if the lights are blinding you. But yeah, that's my camera, my tripod. Say hello. Um, but this mirror is just like, yes. The foundation is too orange. Don't worry, I got any one girl. This wing is just like coming out of my lash line. Like I need to connect it more, but then it'll be thicker than that one. So like, <gasps> do you see my dilemma? So yeah, this palette is so cool. And it's like very like... I don't know how to describe it. I just I love it. Next, I got the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Face Primer. And I actually had this like three years ago. I think I still have the tube, but like I never use it because it's like super old. So this is what it looks like. Oh, holy schnitzel. <gasps> okay, well, I didn't mean to do that, but like I can see where the product starts and it's like, starts there there's like no product up in there what are you doing Too Faced this is like you know the bag of chips when there's like two chips at the bottom of the bag this is worse though because it's makeup and like I like makeup next I got the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chantilly and I'm pretty sure the shade is too light for me but it'll be great for highlighting I normally get the other shade they were sold out I was are kind of washing it out but yeah that's like really <laughs> really pale oh it, it matches it matches like perfectly i need summer to come back so i actually look not like a ghost um so then i got the laura mercier eye base <coughs> i'm okay <sighs> for forever i used urban decay eyeshadow primer potion and I actually ran out of it. Well, there's like, if I like squeeze it really hard and like fold it over, I can get like a drop out. But honestly, I just needed a new one and I've had so many Urban Decays and I love it. It literally makes it stay all day, but I heard that this one was really good too. So basically this eye primer comes in four shades. So I got the shade Linen. I don't really know if this is the one that matches me. Then I got just a Rosewood salve. I saw this at checkout and I love these and I finished up all the ones that I had. Have, and you can never have too many chapsticks or lip balms or anything laying around the house because mine just tend to disappear i don't know if it's just me but like okay there is a fuzz you need to go then i got the bumble and bumble hairdressers and visible oil i heard that this was really good i've wanted to try this for a while now so you know the sale i just like tried everything that i've been wanting to try it's great also from bumble and bumble i got the creme de coco tropical rich shampoo and conditioner and i've been wanting to try these for a while but i can never bring myself to buy them because i'm like they're too expensive but it was really embarrassing because on the bottle it says with cuckoo nut oil and I'm allergic to tree nuts. By the way, I had an allergic reaction last week, or like two weeks ago, because I accidentally ate a walnut and I almost died. But anyways, so I didn't know if this would give me like an allergic reaction because the organic shampoo and conditioner has given me a reaction before. So like obviously I'm not trying to get like no hives around me. So I went up to a lady and I was like, do you know if that's like a tree nut? And she's like, what you talking about and then she's like reading the bottle because i think she thought i was like pranking her or something when i said cuckoo nut oil because like fun facts with kelsey so that is everything for what i got in the store but then that, that's my address but um then i ordered stuff online and you need to get out of the frame you're ruining my shot I'm sorry, I'm disgusting. So, something very exciting. That's right, peeps. I am a VIB Rouge, or I don't, is it Rouge? Is that how you say I don't know. But basically, I'm super fancy, and they gave me this welcome gift. So, you know what? <laughs> Come and scared me. It's a Marc Jacobs, like, thing. What? How do you? This looks like a weird contract. I'm okay. It's so cute. I love many things. Mm. Okay, so in the box, some of that stuff I had used, but all in the box, I haven't used it. I like looked to make sure everything was there. <gasps> Wait, I didn't. I forgot. You know when you forget when you order. Wait, because my mom said like don't get everything you want. Wait till Christmas. I thought I was gonna wait till Christmas, but apparently I got. Let's just take a moment of silence. The camera is washing it out. This palette was like 
many dollars, but my literal spirit animal favorite person on earth, Jacqueline Hill, um, hauled this, and like when she swatched it, I was like, ah! I need that in my life. So, yeah, Jacqueline Hill, like, it's me. I love her. <coughs> Me and choking. Sephora sales are dangerous because they only happen like twice a year. So when they do, I'm like, I need everything. And then also, I had to spend like ten more dollars so that I could be a VIP Rouge. They're like, spend ten more dollars. So obviously, like I'm Kelsey, I get sucked into that stuff. So I just had to spend a little bit more money. So I got this Sephora honey mask, and my best friend Christina, like literally like preaches about these things like no other and i got one for my mom for either like mother's day or her birthday but i've never actually tried it myself okay this is orange in person and it's yellow on camera what are you doing sister that's so weird and then also i just got some of these flexible hair i heard something really weird i just got some of these like flexible hair ties because i actually really wanted these because i hate you need to slow down because I hate when you like put your hair up when you like did it and then when you take it down it has like that kink in it. I always like save my points but this looked really cool. I got this Urban Decay little set. You're not a beauty insider at Sephora. Like what are you doing? Oh my gosh, I just ripped it. Me, I'm just ripping this apart. Like, you know, going for it. How do you open this? I'm so cute and mini. That color looks really pretty and those two that'll probably never like in stores there if i want to actually put it on my face like trying it out and then the lady was like oh can i help you and i'm like no it's okay and she's like are you trying and i'm like all right well if you insist so i was like can you help me match like to the foundation so she's like yeah so she like matched me and everything and i was like okay great bye and then she was like so do you want to buy it and i was like Oh, I'm gonna get it online and then she was like super mad about it and I'm like girl you just spent two minutes of your time on like matching the foundation I'm still buying it like I just want to give that 21st percent off you feel me and lastly from Sephora I got this Urban Decay all-nighter makeup setting spray duo type thing 29 I feel like for one and it was 39 for the two so I was like you know what I might as well just get the two I'll either like give it to my mom or my sister or keep it for myself so then for mac i just got one thing this brush cleaner because i've been using the mac brush cleaner literally since like for forever i don't think i've tried another one it smells like the lush store so first obviously i got a bath bomb and my hair tie just like that what are you doing okay so first of all it's in this little pink packaging which i freaking love Oh my gosh. So I don't really know what this is called, but I was with my friend Erin and she's like, girl, that made my bathtub beautiful. You should get it. And so I did. Then I got the Woosh Shower Jelly and I actually had this like years back and... <gasps> I could literally smell this all day. It's just like, okay, well, it looks like a jello. It's like so much fun to put on. I used it when I took my shower today. But, um, yeah, it's, ah, it's great. I got this Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. And I normally get the plain Ocean Salt, but I was talking with a guy, and I told him how I had sensitive skin, and he said that the self-preserving one is gentler. So, gentler is that a word? More gentle? Yeah, I mean, I haven't noticed a huge difference between the regular one and the self-preserving. Then I heard that the Shu Amora was, like, the best eyelash curler like ever was at my photo shoot in texas and they used the this eyelash curler on me and it was just so great and i just loved it so i decided to order it i've only used it twice and i haven't noticed like a huge difference because like from the reviews i read online it was like like it's freaking life changing <coughs> me and this joking stop and lastly bh cosmetics so i got this curly by the 14 color eyeshadow and highlighter palette and i was so excited to get this because i was trying for like forever but everybody wanted it so it kept like selling out but finally i like put myself on the little like uh email when back in stock list which normally i never do but carly said that we'd have like first access to it so i'm like yes it is so pretty i definitely recommend i love it and it says aspire to inspire and i have been a fan of carly's for literally 
since the beginning, when I first found her channel, she had like five videos up. Like, I have literally, I'm a beginner fan of hers, but I just love her so much. She is so amazing and inspirational, and like, she's just a beautiful person inside and out. And like, I love her and Brett, but this is not a video about Curly Bybell. While I was at it on Beach Cosmetics, they have really cheap brushes, but they're like, good quality so i just got this blending brush because you can never have too many blending brushes i got this little pencil brush and then i got this lat um brush I thought this would be good for the lower lash line i feel like i've been filming for like two minutes but it's actually been 27 minutes and 35 seconds so that's a thing so i love you guys so so much and i will talk to you in my next video bye